everybody comes, we welcome them, have a little chat, ask them names, etc. if they're new, uh, introduce them to the rest of the players that are there. We have generally a little bit of chit chat first and then we introduce the ball and start getting them moving. Straight away, like, as they're coming in, they see each other coming and say, oh, there's so-and-so, you know, and they're, they're genuinely pleased to see each other and I think they create these little bonds as well. Uh, and they have their own little individual chats as well so you know if they're having difficulties like one will talk to the other and you can hear and see them supporting each other which is huge it's great it's brilliant to see we're trying to work with the person as a whole uh, and it's not just the football side of it and the kick in football although that is important as well because it does get the endorphins etc going uh, the happiness feel good factor uh, it also gets them physically fitter as well because some are maybe quite sedentary so it gets them up moving and what have you, gets them fitter and feeling better about themselves. Uh, and then we come back here to the Abbey Arms at the stadium and sit down and have our teas, coffees and chat so it's building the strong social bonds with them as well. The session was good, uh, we did a couple of drills uh, which I was, they got me running about, they got me passing and then we went into a game which, like I say, is, is quite special and you, you hear about how some of the people uh, get to join the, the club and the team. Um, it just, just makes you appreciate things a lot, uh, really special people. The goal in them games, is just, just you, you can see it means everything to them. Um, like just the passion and their celebrations and that, um, the smiles on their faces, the laughs, like the session's full of laughs, everyone's laughing, everyone's enjoying themselves, it's, it's brilliant to see. What I've really noticed is sort of as the weeks have gone on, more and more people have come. Um, we've really noticed the relationships start to form between individuals and one of the things that I've noticed is that they are starting to support each other outside of the um, mental health football sessions. Um, so I know that they kind of meet up regularly. So in terms of kind of increasing their social connection, um, which is all part of positive mental health, that's definitely happening. Physical health and mental health are so closely interlinked. So improvements in, in their physical health um, will also improve their mental health. And I think we're seeing that, you know, people are, are generally a lot happier. All of the guys um, are, are sharing their stories of mental health. So I think that opening up, um, having a, a, a safe environment where they feel able to talk about what's going on for them is really important. Um, I've just come from the Good Mood Cafe and um, one of the guys was talking about a friend of his that a couple of days ago attempted suicide. Um, so just really kind of sharing that experience, talking about it, talking about you know what might be helpful. Resilience is really important, like I say earlier. Um, you find yourself in a lot of different situations uh, in sport, uh, find yourself not playing, which is something I found myself last season struggling to get in the team, uh, which was, was something new. It was something where, which I had to adapt to and find a way around. Um, so yeah, there, there's, there's lots of examples of needing resilience in sport. That's just one of them. It, it is really important to be able to then carry on going and continue striving for that goal that you're working towards. Um, and having that clear goal in your head daily, weekly um, of where you really want to go.